Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you the difference between grouping and the subtotals feature. So first of all, grouping data. What I want to do is just highlight the rows that I've got the same sort of data in. So I'm going to highlight north and stop on the south there. So I'm clicking on the actual row, just highlighting the whole row like so. And then the feature is on the data tab and then you've got this little group option. You click on group and you get this little collapsible bar in the margin. You click on the minus and it collapses that data out of the way. And if I click on the plus, that will open it up again like so. So just do that again for south, highlight it, click on group, and then you get another one and so on and so on. Now, if I want to do um, a little table to show you how that works in a bit more detail, let's just go for um bill and ben i do the days of the week days of the week so if i go monday or monday pull that down to sunday sunday and then let's go for wk1 as a total so what i want to do now is just to group this area now, because I've already got a group there, this is what's going to happen. Watch what happens here. So if I go to the data tab and click on group, it's saying rows. Now I've got an extra bar there because it's conflicting with this. So really what I should do is, is um, maybe do this onto a separate sheet so it's not conflicting. But that's what's going to happen if you do that. If you've got multiple things, you can see that there's minuses here. The north and the south are grouped and the days of the week are grouped. So I'll just undo that and just copy and paste this onto a separate sheet so you can see how it works. So just put it, in fact, onto a different sheet. And then I'll paste it there. So what you do is you highlight the days of the week, you click on group, and then you get your little collapsible bar. And if you want to do a, a sum function there, let's do, um, Alt equals is the key command for some. I'll just highlight that range. Just tick that formula and pull that across. So there's no data in there at the minute. But if this was like um, attendance one, non-attendance zero, if I go one, zero, zero, one, 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 you can see it clocking it up underneath. Now, if I click on the minus, that will just hide that out of the way. It should still show me the... Um, the totals which it does which is great that's what i want so that's grouping a bit of a manual process but quite useful now subtotals if i go back onto sheet one subtotals looks the same in terms of you get these collapsible bars down the um margin area but if i go back to data and select ungroup and i'll do that for south as well just ungroup those for a minute what this will what this will do it will analyze whatever you tell it. Now you need to have some sort of order in your list. You can't, you wouldn't be able to have South down here. I've got them all together. So they are actually grouped by region, all the North, all the South, etc. There's only one East. I'll do another East actually, let's pull that down. So we've got two. As long as they're sorted in some sort of order and not all mixed up, this will work. And then again, it's on the data tab and it's the subtotal feature there. And then you get the, the options. That, what, what do you want to analyze? Region or sales? Well, I want to analyze sales. And then it's got these different functions you can use. So I've got the sum function selected, but you've got count, average, max, min, etc., etc. All of these. But that's all I want to do. I'm clicking OK to that. And then it summarizes the data by each region. And it's sorted it as well. So let's put it in alphabetical order. But I could have done that first. Now you can see that it's gone bold and underlined there in pounds. Now I highlighted the whole column first and just clicked on the, um, go back to home, pile of coins there to make the whole column uh, into currency because that didn't come in as currency first off. So if that's what you might have to do. But you can see you've got collapsible bars now. If I click on the minus on this one, that's now collapsed that out of the way. And if I come down and click on any of these are the ones it'll do the same. Now you've got a series of numbers at the top there. If I just about see that, that's quite tight. Um, but it does actually say one, two, three. Now I've clicked on number two. 
which is show me all the subtotals. If I click on number one, if I can get number one, that just shows you the grand total. Well, it should show you the grand total. It's actually showing west as well. If I click on number three, if I click on number three, I've clicked on the actual sheet there. So I can't, it's quite hard to get this for my mouse, which is my mouse port is quite big. But there you go. That extends it back fully extended. So this is why that showed west. I'm not sure why it did that actually, but never mind. That's basically what subtotals is. And if you want to get rid of that, you go back to the data and you go into subtotals and you click on remove. And then you're back to square one. So that's all I want to look at in this little video how you can use grouping to manually group things or subtotals to analyze it slightly, but you still get the same collapsible bars down the left margin, which allows you to hide data or expand data. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.